Hello friends, you're welcome to The Key Point. If this is your first time you're joining us in our channel, please kindly hit on the red subscribe button below the video. And please don't forget to hit on the bell button beside the subscribe so you won't miss any of our videos. Thank you. The former governor of Abia State, Oji Kalu, has been convicted by the Federal High Court in Lagos in, on Thursday for indulging in a 7.1 billion naira fraud and he, Oji Kalu, is sentenced to 12 years imprisonment. Recall that the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission filed a fraud charges against Kalu in 2007, which the judgment was delivered 12 years after by Justice Mohamed Idris of the Federal High Court. The Director of Finance for Oji Kalu, Jones Odegu, who worked with him at the Abia State Government House in the state capital, Omoya, was convicted, including Oji Kalu's firm, Slug Nigerian Limited. The judge, Mohamed Idris, ordered that Oji Kalu's firm, Slug Nigerian Limited, should fold at the same time be forfeited to the government while Odegu was sentenced to a 10 years life imprisonment. Out of the 39 charges filed against Kalu, the judge convicted Kalu of the 28 count in which he is named Futured. On each of count 1 to 11 and 39, he was sentenced to five years imprisonment. On each of count 23 to 33, he was sentenced to three years imprisonment. And on each of count 34 to 38, he was sentenced to 12 years imprisonment. Justice Idris said the sentences should run concurrently, meaning that Kalu will spend 12 years in jail. As for the second convict, Udegu, Justice Idris found him guilty of 11 count of the 16 count in which his name featured. He was pronounced not guilty on 5 count. On each of count 23 to 25 and 27 to 32, Udegu was sentenced to 3 years imprisonment. On each of count 34 to 38, he was sentenced to 10 years, while the judge gave him 5 years on count 39. He said the sentences will run concurrently, meaning that Udegu will spend 10 years in jail. In respect of Slug Nigerian Limited, Justice Hydris rule and ordered and ordered is hereby met that the third conviction without further assurance but from this order be won up and all the assets and properties forfeited. In pronouncing the convict guilty, Justice Idris said the EFCC proved his case beyond reasonable doubt. He said, I hold the view that the prosecution has established its case against the defendant. It did not fall short of the standard required by law in money laundering offenses. It is clear upon the fact before this court that the prosecution had this case conclusively investigated before opting to bring this charge against the defendant. In other words, the prosecution did it an in-depth and conclusive investigation. In totality, I sincerely cannot find my war my way clear in finding this defendant not guilty of the defenses offenses charged, having reviewed all that has been provided by the prosecution in terms of oral and documentary evidence. I am inclined to resolve the singular issue for determination in favor of the prosecution herein. Justice Idris said from the evidence before him, he found that Carlo violated his oath of office as a governor. He said, with due respect, I hold the view that the first defendant has failed in his obligation. It is unacceptable. With due respect, I state that the first defendant acted contrary to his oath of office and he shall accordingly be held responsible for his actions. All of those who have aided and abetted him will also be dealt with. Let me remind those who hold positions of authority in this country that they shall be held responsible for their conduct. When they act contrary to the law, the same law will catch up with them. I would like to borrow a leave from the words of the late Dele Giwa, who stated that no evil deed will go unpunished, and evil done by man to man will be redressed, if not now, certainly later, if not by man, then by God, for the victory of evil over good is temporary. It is in this light and circumstances that I again find 
sorry, it is in this light and circumstances that I, I, I again find the defendant guilty. He, however, had it. The defendant are no doubt first time offenders, and for this reason, and keeping with the spirit of the ACJA, the court will temper justice with mercy, but only in accordance with the detect of the law. Reacting to the judgment, the People's Democratic Party said the conviction of Kalu did not show any serious fight against graft by the president, President Mohamed Buhari administration. The PDP National Publicity Secretary, Mr. Kalu Olugbadiya, in an interview with one of our correspondents in Abuja on Thursday, said the trial of Kalu predated, predated Buhari's administration. Olugbadiya said, what year did the trial of Kalu begin? Who was in power then? As far as we are concerned, until Buhari begins to try members of his cabinet and the people that have been accused of corruption under him, we have not seen any fight against corruption. The trial of Ojikalu predated Buhari's administration. So there is no need for the APC and President Buhari's government to gloat over any conviction. If Buhari wants to really fight corruption, he should look inward. The chairman of the All Progressive Congress in Abia State, Donatus Nwangpa, said in an interview with the news agency of Nigeria that he was disappointed by the judgment. Nwangpa said the party will meet to take a position on the judgment, but as an individual, I am very saddened by the judgment. By the judgment. Carlos conviction, but the Buhari's media organization said the conviction and sentencing of Ozu Kalu was further a proof that the war against corruption was in full swing. In a statement signed by its chairman, Deyin Akin Seju, and Secretary Kasidi Maduku, the BMO argued that the conviction of a high-ranking APC chieftain proved that the court were indeed independent. For some time, in People's Democratic Party and its supporters have been casting a special on the anti-corruption crusade. Okay, guys, this is uh, the news for today. Can you hit on the comment section what do you think about this judgment uh, that uh, uh, Oji Kalu has been sentenced to 12 years imprisonment? And you recall with me when this, uh, what PDP is actually trying to say is that when this uh, case was filed uh, by the EFCC, Buhari was not in office. Buhari was not the president of the country. Now, taking up this case now, does this show that he is really fighting corruption or he's just trying to uh, pull Alex? Kindly hit on the comment section and drop your thought concerning this story. Thank you.